Let's face it, your house is long overdue for a good deep clean, but I know this can be a very overwhelming task, especially if you are attempting to do it all in one day. That is why I've decided to break it up and assign a part of the home to each day of this week. Look how crusty your shelves are. Yeah. On Monday, we're starting off with the dirtiest place of all, the bathroom. I don't know what it is, but I swear my shower never stays clean. This is one of my least favorite places to clean, so I kindly asked my boyfriend to take one for the team. He went in and removed everything off the shelves. Ew, look at the gunk. Oh my God. That's so bad. You know squirt yet? As you can see, our shower is actually disgusting. Gloves, scrubber. Get to it, baby. Why are you put them on with wet hands? good on camera, Loki. I promise it's not that pretty in real life. <laughs> but while he scrubbed that, I took everything off the bathroom counter and went in with my cleaning solution from Branch Basics. I love this stuff because it's non-toxic and very versatile. I use it for both my mirrors and my countertop and it works wonders. This is not sponsored, I just love them. Since we are deep cleaning in this video, I'm trying to clean areas of my home that either I haven't cleaned in a while or have never been cleaned. And I've definitely never cleaned these drawers. The task we all love to do. I actually saw a hack where you can use toilet paper to clean off the toilet. Isn't that smart? Is that a hack? Yeah. You know how the toilet's all like dusty on top? I know, it does feel like common sense, but have you ever done that? Probably not. Shit, you got it. Probably not. <laughs> Ew, that shit's crusty as fuck. You wanna see something satisfying? Honestly, at this point, I was wiped out for the day, but I still had to do the floors, so I quickly vacuum and steam mop the floor. I absolutely love my cordless vacuum. If you don't have one, what are you doing with your life? You need one. I used to despise vacuuming just because of the cord, but now that I have a cordless one, it's honestly not even that bad. But steam mopping is still kind of a pain in the ass because it has a cord, so... If there's one that doesn't have a cord, I need to invest in that. Okay, day two, I decided to tackle my bedroom as well as our spare room that I use as a gym and an office. I took everything off the shelves and dusted the picture frames as well as my fake plants. And when I was doing this, I realized that I have actually never simply dusted before. I usually spray a cleaning solution and scrub the area, but honestly, dusting does the trick, especially when you're planning to vacuum the carpet after. Then I basically just did the same thing with mine and my boyfriend's nightstands. I took everything off and wiped it down I don't really understand how dust gets all the way into the back of the shelf when it's covered by another shelf. Like, do the dust bunnies fly in there and like, I don't know. I honestly just went around and dusted everything in my room that I could find that had dust on it because I've never done that before. This is also the time to wipe down your baseboards. This is honestly so satisfying but so tedious at the same time. Moving 
on to our spare room. This treadmill has not been used in a while, so it needs a good dust. We actually got this treadmill from the previous owners of our house because they didn't want to move it. And I was so excited about it at first, but now we hardly ever use it. Same with this TV, honestly. It just sits here and collects dust. This desk isn't too dirty because I try to wipe it down regularly. I cannot stand working in a dirty space, especially on something that's out in the open, such as this desk. If it is clear, I swear I'll be so much more productive. Then unfortunately I had to bust out the old corded vacuum because my cordless one doesn't do so well on carpet. I don't think she's powerful enough, but she does so well on the hardwood floor. I vacuumed both rooms entirely, including my closet because I shed so much hair for no reason. Then I really went all out and steam cleaned the carpet, which oh my god, there's no better feeling than steam clean carpets. Okay, day three is my personal favorite, the kitchen. I love cooking as you all probably know, so having a clean kitchen is a must for me. I removed everything from the countertops and used a granite countertop cleaner. I believe this one was from the brand Everspring. I got it at Target. Then I cleaned my toaster, which is pretty easy because it has a metal piece you can slide out right from the bottom and rinse all the crumbs off. I then sprayed my backsplash with a vinegar and water mixture. When in doubt, use vinegar and water to clean almost anything. It always does the trick. I used to hate when my mom would clean the house with vinegar because it stinks, but honestly, I've gotten used to it because I use it so much. Next, it was time to clean out the microwave, so I filled the bowl with hot water and added some lemon slices and put it in the microwave for five minutes. I think this is supposed to loosen up the dirt and grime that's in your microwave and make it easier to clean. Once the five minutes was up, I got to scrubbing with a little bit of vinegar and water mixture. I also did the same thing to the outside of the microwave, but I went in with a microfiber towel after to make it look nice and shiny. My neighbor is actually a clean freak, and one time I went to her house and immediately noticed how shiny all of her appliances were. She said her secret is a microfiber cloth, so I've been using them ever since. Next, I cleaned my stove area. I honestly used this pan for decoration because I ruined the inside, but I still wanted to keep it because the color is literally stunning. I freaking love this stove top cleaner. It works so well. Having an electric stove is like the best thing ever. I used to hate cleaning the stove at my parents' house because you had to take off those metal grates and clean them and the stove. Yeah, I don't miss that. Then I wiped down my cabinets that I come into contact with most and wiped down my fridge. I also use the microfiber towel here to make my fridge sparkling. Now it's time to clean the love of my life, my Nespresso machine. I use this baby every day, sometimes twice a day. So she was due for a deep clean. It's actually super easy to clean. All you do is put a cup underneath and then press the button three times in two seconds and it'll start the cleaning cycle. You already know I had to treat myself to an espresso shot after this. I saw this hack on another YouTube video I was watching where she put a vinegar soaked dish rag over her sink faucet and let it sit there and it's supposed to make it super easy to clean. Last but not least, I started scrubbing down the sink, and this is the best part about cleaning the kitchen because you know that you're done after this. A 
Okay, now to clean your garbage disposal, put a couple lemon slices in a handful of ice, grind that baby up, and now she is fresh and clean. Okay, I lied. We have a couple more tasks to tackle in the kitchen. I actually did this the next day because I got way too tired. I just took out the trash and boxes, then gave my trash can a good scrub, and this was kind of disgusting, and I probably will not be doing it again. Then I wiped down my dishwasher and cleaned the inside by running an empty cycle. Moving on to day four, which is laundry day. Day four ended up turning into day five and six, but we are not going to talk about it. I thought it'd be fun to do all of my loads of laundry in one day, but that did not work out well. I first started with my bedding. I have to wash my comforter separately because if not, it'll literally take four hours to dry. Then I washed a load of towels. After a few days of cleaning, I definitely had a lot of towels to wash. It's kind of annoying making your entire bed, but there is no better feeling than fresh sheets. Well, maybe steamed carpets, but other than that, there is no better feeling. I think this was the next day, but anyways, I did a load of darks next. Then I started the dreaded task of folding my laundry. I honestly love folding laundry because I can do it while watching a YouTube video or listening to a podcast, but sometimes it is so hard to get myself to do it. I'm definitely the type of person to leave my laundry in the dryer for three days just simply because I forget about it and then it gets all wrinkly. And then I have to dry it like six more times, so love that. Moving on to day five. This day was probably the easiest because I have a fairly small living room, dining room area. Also, my boyfriend just recently cleaned the couch cushions, so that was one last task I had to worry about. I wiped down our coffee table, then tidied up the pillows and blankets. Then I went in with the cordless vacuum. After saying it couldn't handle carpet, I made it vacuum my carpet. I honestly think I may have broken it though because it's making weird noises now and not working properly. So don't be like me. Okay, someone please give me some tips on shoe organizing because I keep buying more shoe racks and then we just fill them up and it looks cluttered again. Maybe I should just get rid of some shoes, I don't know, but there has to be a better option. Okay, day six is all about flourishing your space. I'm going around my house and giving all of my plants a good water. And we have finally made it to day seven, the last day of the week. This is a day to really just sit and enjoy your clean space. Make yourself a meal in your clean kitchen and truly just let yourself relax because you freaking deserve it after this hard work. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you have any good cleaning hacks. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.